It is now my privilege and honor to introduce our commencement speaker, His Excellency President of Rwanda, Paul Kagame, and to bestow upon him an honorary doctorate of humane letters. President Kagame rose to prominence as the leader of the Rwandan Patriotic Front, whose victory over the incumbent government in July 1994 effectively ended the Rwandan genocide. Under his leadership, Rwanda has been called an African success story. He is cited as the top 10 reformer worldwide in the ease of doing business index by the World Bank. President Kagame has become a public advocate for new models of social and economic development and self-reliance. I could list some of the many global awards that President Kagame has earned. Instead, I want to focus on two awards that demonstrate his conviction for humanity. The African Gender Award for his role in promoting gender, gender equality in Rwanda, and the Children's Champion Award by the U.S. Fund for UNICEF for promoting children's rights. When I first came to William Penn, I walked around the campus and I saw the quotation at Lewis Hall, the measure of a people is its estimate of woman. I knew that I had found a university home, one that would value gender equity and women's contribution to the university. I was humbled to become the university's first woman president. I belong to an international organization, Women for Women, I was impressed that on the front page of our spring newsletter featured the Women's Opportunity Center in Rwanda. I had the privilege of being in Rwanda in March of this year when Rwanda was celebrating the International Women's Day. I saw women dressed in their finest native dress coming to celebrate International Women's Day at Kaonza and watched as the President's motorcade drove by on its way to International Women's Day celebration. Now I understand that the Women's Opportunity Center is being built close to the Kaonza site by women, for women, to raise the economic, economic status of women. President Kagame strongly believes in gender equity. Since the genocide, Rwanda has been distinguished for its integration of women in the reconstruction process, the fight against gender-based violence, the protection of rights of women and girls, women's rights to economic development and to own property, as well as the rights of women and girls to equal education, particularly in rural areas. According to the Constitution, 40% of the parliament must be women, and they are. As Catherine Bertini, a World Food Prize laureate, said at our convocation three years ago, the key to world hunger, educate the women. The key to world peace, educate the women. My favorite quotation from President Kagame is, we cannot turn the clock back, nor can we undo the harm that was caused but we have the power to determine the future and ensure that what happened never happens again. In recognition of His Excellency's accomplishment and the growing relationship between William Penn University and the Republic of Rwanda, I am honored to confer an honorary doctorate of humane letters upon President Kagame. President Kagame, will you come forward? The trustees of the university on recommendation of the university faculty and by virtue of the authority vested in them by law have this day conferred upon His Excellency Paul Kagame, President of the Republic of Rwanda, the degree of humane letters honoris causa and have granted all rights, privileges, and honors thereto pertaining.
Now is